Hi there, on today's episode of the A to Z of Wellbeing, we're up to J, and J is for juicing, one of my all-time favorite things. I've been writing about juicing for so many years. About 25 years ago, I wrote this little book called Juicing. More recently, a couple of years ago, I wrote a book just called Juice. And it was interesting to go back and revisit some of my early research because, do you know, it still stands the test of time. Juicing really works. It's one of the fastest ways to get high nutrient, dense, good quality vitamins and minerals straight into the body. And the great thing about it is that you can make juices for people who are elderly, convalescing, perhaps they're fussy eaters, kids, teenagers. You can sneak things like kale into juices and sweeten them with a bit of apple or carrot, which is actually a very sweet vegetable. So I'm gonna just shove a few of my favorites into my juicer here. Before I start though, just a word about your juicer because people often ask me, what's the best type of juicer? Well, frankly, as long as it makes juice, it's good in my book. You know, you can get these high-speed juicers like this one, which I really like. It has a metal blade which whizzes around really fast, so it's very efficient. Now, the critics will say that the high speed of that metal blade means that it's heating up the juicer, it loses some of its enzymes. Well, conversely, the advocates say that because it's so powerful, it's absorbing more of the nutrients from the food. So I think it swings and roundabouts. Yes, you can go for a slower juicer, you can get something called a cold press juicer. It's not as efficient though at getting the juice out of whatever you're juicing. So I think basically it's entirely up to you. I don't have a particular favorite. So I'm gonna stick this one on and then into here, I'm going to put, you want to start with your hard things. So things like beetroot and carrot. And then my favorite, ginger. I mean, you don't have to peel it. All just goes in straight. Apple. Whoops. This is a bit of basil that's going in. And the best way to juice something like a herb is to put the leaves in between other bits of fruit and veg, because that means it'll squash down. And a lemon. Again, just shove the whole thing in. Bit of kale. Whack it in there bit of carrot on the top and down it goes. Great, that has turned into the most fantastic colour. So look at this, just brilliant and you would never necessarily guess that this was also packed with veggies. My rule actually when it comes to fruit and vegetables is to try and get at least 70% vegetable and 30% fruit. There is a danger with some juices that you can make them too sweet by overloading them with fruit. Mm. That is amazing. You can really taste the subtlety of the basil combined with the ginger and the lemon. Just delicious. Doesn't really matter what you juice, just juice. If you want to know more, head here, Lizelle Wellbeing. You'll find lots more on juicing. See you next time.